Welcome to this video in the Radioactive Helpline channel. What's the topic of the today's cast? What's the signal line plan? And here are the questions, how to use it and how to make use of it. This is Timber. Timber is a long-time member of the Radioactive crew and he is applied to arrange the setup for the next radio show. He concentrates himself to this course, as he knows. There are a lot of things which can even go wrong from the beginning. And he takes his job seriously, as he wants to avoid the chaos he has seen before. His radio group made a great learning curve here. At the beginning they started, everybody engaged. It ended with a mess of cables. Nobody knew what switch to wear, which cable is going to wear and going so, something went to the wrong input. So this was no sound. No sound, no show. That's simple, but why? The effects were ridiculous. The crew were angry. And the listeners were irritated and, in fact, you didn't bring your message out. So Timber this time wants to sit down and think about how to manage this better. So the real question is how to plan it right. One tool for planning he knows. That's a checklist. Professionals are using them for planning. There's a lot of stuff to be considered. Microphones, headphones, cables, connectors and adapters. Checklists are good. And they are a good tool, but they are made to ensure everything is stuffed. But how to make sure everything is in the box? To develop the systematics here right, there's another tool Timber tries out now. That's a signal line plan. It simply sets a start at the input and contains all roads to the output at the end. Take a closer look with Timber where the signal goes. And hereby, this signal line plan also answers the question is everything in the box he needs? We have the radio station. Yes, the simplest radio station is a simple computer. Maybe a microphone or a playlist on this or using the built-in tools and then we have some listeners a listeners machine and this is connected to the internet and the connection to the internet is serving everything you need to the computers you show the black box that's simply our internet radio station and it should work real reliable. In fact, that's nothing we can make sure. Even the connection to the listeners we can't make sure. But it's important to know we serve to our listeners through a lot of ways. Direct links to streaming applications, listening to streams via browser is possible. It's also possible to have a mobile device and open the audio there. Okay, this plan starts. Timber is fascinated. But he asks himself, is this all he has to set up for the next show? Well, in fact, this will depend on his plan and the actions he and his crew are planning and wanting to do. 
So if he only uses a laptop and plays some music, yes, I would agree, this is everything he has to plan. But usually, they are doing a lot of more. So it's helpful to look again at the show's plan and start there systematically and create an audio signal line plan. And this one will change for each show, as it is a technical response or implementation on the scheduled show. So Timbo starts to review what they are planning to do. One person will perform and introduce the content which has been pre-recorded. This person we know as Anchorman, or in Germany is called Moderator or Showmaster. Well, he will perform his content live, so there must be a microphone. And he will need to read and place his notes. And additionally, there will be interviews which are pre-recorded in advance. They should be stored and prepared in a playback device. Some music is also fine. Okay, you'll need a mixing deck. This means, finally, the best start is here to sketch with a pen and paper. Sketch the player. Sketch the microphone. Sketch the mixing deck. And you can be sure to connect them together. You should know already the cables and connectors you need. Then you can draw them inside this plan. Don't forget the connection to the radio station. Both. In general, this is a more abstract roadmap. Brainstorm your context and plan what you want to do based on your context. Plan your requirements and bring by this way your broadcasting plan into a technical action. Define your sources, which are the input you have to arrange. When you know what's in the mix index, you know and consider how to arrange it and mix it. And define your output. And as output, you have also the recording for the archive, as well as potential monitor lines and headsets. So now we are going to see if everything went, if well or not, your result can have all directions. You can end with a very, like, timber, as his plan was going into a good action, as a happy timber, Be sure a happy timber also means happy listeners. But maybe something is not as perfect as planned. But if you have your plan, you can go through the signal line plan. And based on this, you can consider all the handbooks or material you have. Go along the line and you will find and identify the problem. Let's sum up a bit. What's the signal line plan? Well, the signal line plan, in fact, is a method and a tool, which you can use. It helps you to plan and to set it up and to check it. You improve it and finally, this is also a baseline for troubleshooting and support. 
Thanks for watching and listening. My name is Andreas Auwerte. I'm at the Knowledge Media Institute at the University of Koblenz Landau and by this a national member of Radioactive Europe from the German team. Bye bye and thank you again. This production was brought to you under a Creative Commons share like license. If you want to give feedback or comments, please use your email and uh, for sure all the comment features and maybe you want to listen to one of our next shows. Bye bye.